The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. So what I want us to do now is actually briefly go over what the major functions of the respiratory system are. So obviously it's responsible for gaseous exchange. So the intake of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. That's obviously the most important function, the one that would obviously come to mind. But the respiratory system also plays a role in regulating your pH or regulating the pH of your blood. Because as you know, or as you should know, uh, your body maintains a relatively stable pH of your blood and body fluids in general. Now, uh, when this acid-base balance or this uh, pH is disturbed, your body can do things uh, to restore it or to restore that homeostatic level that it's uh, used to and needs to function properly. So for instance, if you have a drop in the pH of your blood or which is in relatively an increase in acidity, what can happen is that um, you can have an increase in ventilation which will actually increase the amount of carbon dioxide that you're expelling through your lungs. And as you should know, carbon dioxide plays a key role in affecting blood acidity. So that reduction in carbon dioxide concentrations should cause your pH to rise uh, back to a normal level. So we're not going to delve into the specifics of uh, pH regulation um, by the lungs at this point in time. That's something we're gonna look at a little later on in this lecture. Now, you're, other than obviously regulating your blood pH, uh, your respiratory system is also responsible for olfaction or olfactory sensation, as I said, which is basically your ability to smell, your ability to, to, to detect odors in the environment. Uh, your respiratory system also plays a key role in phonation or what we call vocalization, just basically your ability to make sounds, so your voice and your ability to speak or sing. And it's also responsible for the excretion of a small amount of water and heat. Now, what we're going to do next is just go into... Uh, a few of these structures, we're going to uh, study their, their structure and their anatomy. And we're going to begin with the external structures, obviously, as you can see, the nose. Now, the nose uh, is a very important uh, part of the respiratory system. It functions to warm, cleanse, and humidify incoming air. Uh, it also is responsible for olfaction, so it contains those special receptors that help us detect odors in the environment. It also serves as a resonating chamber in that it contributes to your ability to form sounds. Now. The nose extends from uh, the nostrils, what we call the nares or the external nares, um, and it goes all the way internally into the inside of your head where we have what we call nasal apertures or cone internally. So it's a very 